Greetings, Glitter Gang. It's 7.15 on February 7th. You're here for Scrappy Bowl. This is part two of Scrappy Bowl, and I'm going to be starting the Pouchalope album. I'm going to be starting the Pouchalope album. So, all right. Okay. So, the original Pouchalope. Oh my gosh, my desk is extremely chaotic. Okay. Ooh, mint. Ooh, I don't recommend swapping between the mojito and the, um, and the, um, uh, and the ice water. It's, uh, it's definitely, uh, it's a, yeah, woof. It's a, it's a, it's an interesting combination. Oh no, you had to add extra orange to the rum runner. We have, um, we have, in, we, we, had, we didn't have any, there was no blackberry schnapps at ABC Fine Wine and Liquor. So we had to get blackberry moonshine. We, so we have blackberry moonshine. So that's going to really be, it's a lot because it's like 20% uh, alcohol. <laughs> so it's, it's a, it's a, it's going to, yeah. It's going to be a lot. So my rum runner is going to be quite, quite the rum runner. But I felt like the, you know, the moonshine, you know, thematically it works. Very prohibition e. So, all right. Tiny Cat is still on her little perch. So... <laughs> Barbara Jean's drinking a Diet Pepsi on the rocks, she says. All right. So, at least there's only a half an ounce of the blackberry. Thank goodness. Okay, pouch of lope. Basics guide. Okay, so I am going to do the landscape version because I am a generous soul and because I don't know when to quit. I gave you two pouch lopes. I gave you a cutting guide for a landscape version, which is this one where it's attached to the album spine on the short side, but I also gave you cutting guide for a uh, um, portrait version if you want to attach it on the uh, long side instead. So page four has the landscape version, which is what we're going to be doing tonight, and page five has the portrait version, which you can do on your own time if you want to. All right, so, um, okay. And then the difference between version three and version two, like I said earlier, is just this added bullet point that says, in the video, you'll see that some of the score lines are not folded and are used as cutting guides. If you prefer to use a ruler and pencil, skip the, you know, and then I list measurements to skip and that's it. So that's the difference. All right. Uh, should we use graphite? I have plenty of it and we know it matches with ladies who lunch because it's what I picked for, um, it's what I picked for, uh, box set album remastered. So, um, I'm going to start, I'm going to use graphite, uh, cause I have a ton and I know it, and I know it matches. Um, it's also easier to see on camera than black, which is what I would use. Um, otherwise, unless you want to go through the swatch book and find some like wild and crazy, Oh God, now there's a, another drink. <laughs> All right, so. Oh boy, that's something. Uh, oh God, did you hear him? I'm so scared now. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> ah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ugh. It's so strong. It's so strong. It's so, why is it so strong? <laughs> it's so, I'm like, my mouth is so upset. I'm like drooling now. Like, it just, what, what is happening? What is happening? Oh my goodness. It's so, it's pretty though. Look at that. He got some nice layers there. It's the banana. I don't love the banana. 
I don't love the banana. Mm. I don't like most banana flavorings, you know. Oh, and you just used normal rum instead of coconut rum. Is this like all cracking then? See, look, I'm, I'm drooling. My mouth is like crying. My mouth is crying. All right. Okay. Um, I'm going to start with an infinity binding. Uh, five and three quarters is the, is the height. Ugh. I'm going to, I'm going to die if I drink that whole thing. It definitely needs to be t in a glass twice as tall. <laughs> my microphone fell off my belt. Like it's, it's just, it's complete. I've completely collapsed. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to do, um, a half inch binding. I don't think I need a half inch binding, but whatever. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. A half inch gutter. He's making scoring jokes because I was just scoring the paper. Oh my gosh. He's fired. All right. If I'm going to do a six page album, I need seven of these. So I was just able to get four out of one. So now I'm going to get, I'm going to just cut another one. I need three more. So. Cut those three and score them. To reach to reach the end, I need some H two O. It's true. I do need to drink some water soon. On my next on my next break, I'll drink some water. All right. So I'm just these are two and a half inch by five and three quarter inch strips of cardstock. I'm scoring them at one and one and a half inches. And these are going to make the binding now with the. Um, with this album, because the way that it works is you stick one element on the front and one element on the back and you sandwich the fin of the binding in between them. So the binding does need to be done ahead of time. Now I did give instructions in the video, in the description. So check the bullet points for this, but I do explain how if you're the kind of person that likes to decorate all of your pages when they're not in the binding and like the last thing you do is put things in the binding, then you can do that. And I explain how you can do that. And I may actually do that myself. Um, so I may just like blaze through the construction and do the construction for all six of them. So All right, so now while I'm scoring all these, I'm gonna burnish all my score lines. And while I'm doing this, just remember in the video description of this video, if you're watching live on YouTube, um, there are links to the paper I'm using, which is Ladies Who Lunch uh, by Paper Phenomenon. And Kathy restocked Ladies Who Lunch over at paperphenomenon.com, so she has the physical paper packs. If you want them, I'm also using Ladies Who Lunch in the box set album remastered. So I have this project and another project coming up with it. I recommend getting two packs at least, at least. And she's doing 20% off Ladies Who Lunch for those of you who are watching Scrappy Bowl 
with code Scrappy Bowl. So if you go to Paper Phenomenon, you put Ladies Who Lunch in your cart, and then you can add the code Scrappy Bowl and get 20% off Ladies Who Lunch as a Scrappy Bowl gift from Kathy at Paper Phenomenon. So that was nice of Kathy to give us a Scrappy Bowl present. So make sure you grab yourself some ladies who lunch. That code's only good for 24 hours, so make sure you grab it now. Grab it tonight. Don't forget, okay? All right. So once I have all these, I'm going to glue them to each other in pairs, okay? Um, and the reason I do it in pairs is because... Um, if I, I stick them together in pairs and then I stick those pairs together and that keeps them from getting like totally crazily out of whack. As I've just noticed um, that if I glue them into a chain one after another after another, then if they, they, they can sometimes kind of travel And so I've had albums where like the last page was an eighth of an inch higher than the first page because I, you know, each one was slightly higher than the last. So I've found that this um, prevents that from happening, which is nice. Okay. Okay, so now that I've got them all taped, I'm going to burnish my tape. I'm using Miracle Tape, which is a, a type of tape known as pressure sensitive tape. What that means is that the more pressure it's under, the stronger the bond. And so burnishing it helps you get a stronger bond by putting it under pressure. And so then I just stick them together, score line to score line. Burnish. And then I fold it flat and burnish it again. And then that gives me this sort of T shape. And that's one of my pairs. I'm just gonna keep doing it. Fran, yeah, Fran, Fran started in the corner. She did, she did. Fran started in the corner. But that's okay, she likes it there because there's a, there's a bar in the corner, <laughs> so. All right. So there's number two. And then again, score line to score line. All right, so now with these, we're going to stick these two together, then we're going to add this one, and then we're going to add this last one to the end. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. All right, so, and again, this is the Pouch Lope album. There is a link in the video description if you're watching live to where you can download it, or if you have access to archives, it will be in the Scrappy Bowl folder. All right, so I just fold this. So that I've got that score line on the edge, and then I fold this so it's just got the score line on the edge, 
and I stick them down score line to score line. And then I open it up to that and I burnish. And now I have three of my fins ready to go. So we add tape to this one. This one already has tape on it, so we're almost done. This is the last tape for now. And once we have the binding, then we'll start working on the construction of everything else. And then someone just tell me when it's halftime because we will take a break for halftime so that you can all watch the halftime show. If you care, if you don't care, uh, you know, the chat will still be up here so you can still chat. I have one inch fins and half inch gussets. Yep. Yep. I call them gutters because I think it sounds funnier. All right. So here we have one, one, two, three, four, five, five fins and two flaps. We want six fins for a six page album. So I'm going to stick this one, which I already taped at the very beginning. I'm going to stick this on one side and then we'll have a six fin binding. This is the infinity binding. So if you have a tutorial that explains the infinity binding, then you have a tutorial on how to do this. If you don't, I've done it a million times on YouTube in a bunch of different albums. You can check like Baby's First Year has it, check that playlist, and I'll go over it in more depth. All right, binding's done. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the, um, how do I wanna do it? I'm gonna do all the envelopes, and then I'm gonna do all the pouches. I think. All right. So, um, like I said, we're on page four, pouch elope landscape. And the envelopes are made of three pieces of cardstock. Um, and, you know, it's just because their pouches are kind of, I mean, they're not huge, but they're big enough that we couldn't quite get it out of one piece of cardstock. So, I'm going to go cut six of each of these three pieces. So I'm going to come back with 18 pieces and we're going to rapidly assemble these envelopes. So I'm going to take the tablet with me over to the cutting board. I'm going to be using my large cutting board, my um, Rotatrim. Tiny Cat is still sleeping on her little paper perch. What a funny little kid. And this first piece which is the base of the envelope and then the two side flaps is 11 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters. Uh, Mr. Lifeguard just posted the project link in the video description. Please download that tonight. That link will expire and that folder will delete itself out of my box and your box after 24 hours. So you need to download it before you go to bed tonight. Okay. Please, please, please. If you have the archives, you don't have to worry about it. It'll, you'll have access to it as long as you have the archives. But if you don't have the archives, make sure you get it downloaded tonight, tonight. All right. So next, you can't get all these pieces out of one cardstock just because of the size of the envelope. However, you can get one flap out of what's left from cutting the base. 
So you can get one flap out. So. That's one of the flaps. And here's the other three. So these are the seven and three, the five, five, seven and three quarter by five inch pieces. And now I just need the last one, which is seven and three quarters by four and three quarters. So, and I'll be able to get those out of three pieces of cardstock. Technically, I could get it out of two pieces of cardstock if I. No, I couldn't. Okay, never mind. All right, here they all are. Okay, so that's all the pieces that I, oh, hello, tiny cat. Hello, how are ya? Oh, <laughs> did you hear that? Did you hear that tiny cat cry? Oh. <laughs> All right, tiny cat, I gotta work. I gotta make these pouch lips. <laughs> okay. All right, so these are the five inch by seven and three quarter inch ones. They get scored on the five inch edge at four inches. And we're going to, these are pretty easy to mass assemble, so. Assembly line crafting. I know, she's so precious. What a precious little tiny. All right, these are the four and three quarter by seven and three quarter inch pieces. I'm going to score on the four and three quarter inch edge at seven and three quarter inches. All these. Uh, measurements are, including the scores, are in the video that comes with this um, download and in the cutting guide itself. All right, so you don't need to be taking notes if you're watching live and you've downloaded the project, okay? And you've downloaded the project. If you're watching the recording on YouTube, then just take notes. And follow me on all my social media so you know when Scrabby Bowl is. Okay. All right. And then the big one gets scored on the 11 and 3 quarter inch edge at 2 inches. And 9 and 3 quarter inches. Joy says, I have my kitty on my lap, but he isn't a tiny cat. His name is Chubba, and he weighs 18 pounds. <gasps> He's even bigger than Kitty. Kitty weighs 15 pounds now. She used to weigh 16, but she's on a diet. All right. 
meat. Tiny cat, hello. Tiny cat's off her perch. She's off her perch. She's on the move. I don't know where she's going. I don't know what her plans are. She's currently sniffing Barbara Jean's um, tools. Pull it along all the score lines and burnish. There's a lot of them. Looks like Tiny's leaving us. Fine. I guess I didn't give her enough scritches. She did not accept my reasoning that I had to actually do work. What a little jerk! no inches of snow. Because I live in Florida. It's not, it's not that it's never snowed here, but it's pretty rare. It's pretty rare. It can technically snow but it doesn't very often because it doesn't get below freezing very often. And then when it does get below freezing, it's not, it's during the dry part of the year, not the wet part of the year. So, but it's been chillier than we're used to slash enjoy. So, okay. I'm going to chug a bunch of water right now. That's better. Okay, now we just have to put tape on all of these flaps. And the, where we put it is on the inside, so like you won't see the tape when it's folded right on the edge. Okay? So we're just gonna put tape right on the edge. Yeah, you would get stranded, Monica. Okay, so I don't know what's happening with the game, but that's okay because I don't care. Um, I do know that my mom texted all of us in Florida to let us know that she was rooting for the Chiefs because she's a traitor. She chose her hometown over her children. fine. I'll remember this. I'll remember this when it's Mother's Day. I'm going to get her. The New York Times will make a thousand piece puzzle of the um, of the front page of the paper from any day you choose. And I'm going to choose my birthday. So for Mother's Day, she's going to get a paper a thousand piece cross pa puzzle of the front page of the paper on my birthday on my birthday 
because that's when she became a mom. <laughs> so. And I've seen people try to put these crossword puzzles together and they say that they're incredibly hard. So that'll teach her. That'll teach her. Oh my gosh, my squirrel, my tape lines are getting very, very out of whack because <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I don't know. I'm, well, I'm pretty hot actually. We, for, you know, we did it on Thursdays. We have, um, the thermostat set to cool down up here, but we just didn't think about it today. So it was like 80 something degrees when Mr. Lifeguard remembered up in this room. So... Like I can feel my hair wilting from the humidity up here, from the heat and humidity and the lights. Obviously needed to put more. Could it be hot? Could you be hot and wonky because of your drinks? Woo, touchdown Tampa Bay. I'm sure the drinks aren't helping. Alcohol never made anyone better at anything. <laughs> All right. Now on the back of the main piece, do I have a craft room tour on YouTube? No, um, only in the archives. I have the craft room tour from two scrappy bowls ago in the archives where Fran dressed up in a sparkly Vanna white dress and she pointed to everything as I described it. And we called her Fran a white. So that was two scrappy bowls ago. The, um, so that, and my craft room is very similar to how it was then. I have moved since then, but it's basically set up the exact same way. So, but yeah, I do have a craft room tour on YouTube, but it's from like forever ago. It makes you better at dancing. No, it makes you better at thinking you're better at things. <laughs> That's what it does. <laughs> it makes you better at thinking you're better at things. The drinks that year were good because we had hurricanes. Well, the, the cereal milk, I mean, let's not, let's not forget the cereal milk. That was the year of cereal milk. Oh, this tape rolls out. Okay. Need another roll of tape. Speaking of tape, everything at CatherineScraps.com is 40% off right now with code SB2021. So that's S as in scrappy, B as in bowl, 2021, including t two exclusive tape bundles. We have four scrappy bowl. One, which is a variety pack of all the different sizes of Miracle Tape. If you want to test them out and see which ones work best for you. The other is the one to stock up. It has six rolls of the two most used tapes, which are quarter inch and three eighths inch, and one roll of the big two inch. Uh, can't beat, can't beat it. So make sure you check out CatherineScraps.com. Hit the shop button at the top of the page. Or if you're on mobile, hit the shop button at the bottom of the page and get yourself some tape, stock up. The other reason why I'm hot, I don't normally wear pants. Um, normally I wear shorts or like a little house dress or something. So, but I wore pants this time in case I had to stand up, which I did go stand up and go pet tiny cat. So, so normally I don't wear pants. 
So that's also part of the problem. All right, everything is scored. Yay. So now we need to burnish all our tape. TMI, look, house dresses are fine. It's not like I'm up here naked, okay? That's what would be weird. Miracle tape is a pressure sensitive tape. So is score tape. So is ATG. You always want to burnish pressure sensitive tapes because they get stronger the more pressure they're under, hence the name. So be sure to burnish. Always burnish. It's also easier to peel the tape backing if you burnish. Does Miracle Tape come in a six inch? No, the, um, it comes in two inch. It's the largest size on a roll. And then it comes in eight and a half by 11 sheets by, you can get by the sheet. Okay. So now that we've got all those done, I'm going to chomp all their corners to give them around the corners. And then we'll stick all these envelopes together. I don't sell the sheets, no. Um, the sh and we did not include the sheets in the value pack. That's the only size we didn't put in it. I only put the rolls. All right. I wonder how an ex a six inch roll would be really expensive because the two inch roll is $18. Now, the other thing to keep in mind about Miracle Tape rolls is that they're a little bit more than twice as long as a score tape roll. So when you're looking at the price of a Miracle Tape roll, you know, just make uh, you're getting more yards um, than you are with score tape. So check, uh, do a little you know, back of the envelope math on the uh, price per yard, because uh, per yard, the Miracle Tape is the better value. Yeah, six inch roll, because like I said, the two inch roll is 18. So six inch roll would be pretty pricey. Okay, all right. Almost done with our chomping. So I'm going to chomp these as well. Chompy, chompy, chompy. And we're going to round all of our corners. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Six inch rolls are really convenient, but they're also like you're going to pay for the convenience for sure. All right. Can someone tell me where they are? I'm chomping with the half inch. I'm chomping half inch corners. Half inch chomps. What is happening in the game? Can someone let me know what quarter we're in, what time we are in what quarter, and what the score is? Uh, 
Oh, it's a two minute warning. Okay, so it's almost break time. So I think what I'll do is I won't start assembling these until we get back from halftime because we only have two minutes. Um, so what we'll do is um, we'll go, we'll take our halftime break. So I'll stop here. We'll take our halftime break. And we will come back. We'll do um, another round of prizes when we get back from halftime. And I'm going to leave the broadcast going. It'll just be with my coming soon music. Two minutes can last half an hour. But doesn't the two minutes usually last half an hour at the end? Like, I feel like the last quarter of the Super Bowl takes as long as the other three quarters. <laughs> so that's how it feels. I tell you what I'll do is I'll do one of them because I probably have time to do one. And then that'll be, there at least will be one on this video. All right. So this is super easy. Okay. Flip it over. Peel. Peel. Now. This, when I stick this down, I want to see a line of cardstock in between the edge of this score line and the edge of this paper. The reason why I want to see that line of cardstock is so that the score line, it, I don't want the score line to touch these, okay? I don't want these to curl because they're getting mushed against the score line when this gets folded up. So I want to see, you know, a line of cardstock so that I know everybody has breathing room, okay? So when I close this, it just closes nice and smooth and you see these are still straight, they're not curling. That's what you want. Melanie should get extra credit. <laughs> should she get the gold star? Did I take from this stack? Oh wait, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. These look very similar in size because they're only a quarter inch difference. Um, so just make sure that you, you know, take one from each stack and don't mix up your stacks. All right. And then that's it. The smaller one is the bottom, the longer one is the top. And you have your envelope. Now, the back of this envelope is the base of the pouch. That's why it says in the instructions that you do your spine, you stick your envelope, then you do your pouch, and you stick your pouch to the envelope. Okay? So, if you don't want to do it like that, if you want them to stay free so they're easy to decorate, you will have to cut a base for the pouch. Okay, it's not a big deal. It's not like it's the end of the world, but it's, you know, you basically do have to choose between, well, you don't really, because you could decorate all your envelopes and then stick them into the book. And then you could decorate the front of all your pouches and then stick them to the envelopes and then put your pouch liners. So really you don't have to do that if you don't want to, it's kind of up to you. You can do whatever you want because it's your project. But you basically, you know, you do have to have the pouch stuck to the piece in order to be able to Um, put the pouch liner. So.
All right, I'm gonna get a clothespin so I can keep these all together. Okay, I guess I'll just keep going until it's time for the weekend to do his Scrappy Bowl halftime show. It was nice of him to fly down to Tampa to do a show for us. I always appreciate the Scrappy Bowl support from the community. All right, and then just as a reminder, in the video description right now is a link to download this project. Mr. Lifeguard will also post links in the chat to download this project. Remember that this paper that I'm using, which is the Ladies Who Lunch by Paper Phenomenon, is available in her shop, she got a restock on it and she's doing a 20% off coupon for Scrappy Bowl. So be sure to grab yourself some packs, okay? And her code is Scrappy Bowl. So if you put Ladies Who Lunch in your cart at paperphenomenon.com, the code is Scrappy Bowl to get 20% off Ladies Who Lunch. Our code to get 40% off everything on our site, including the special Scrappy Bowl Miracle Tape bundles, all of that, our code is SB2021. So S as in Scrappy, B as in Bowl 2021. That's CatherineScraps.com. Okay. Make sure you stock up on tape while you can because you really can't beat the price to stock up on tape right now. Um, the other thing people have been buying a lot of tin caps. People have been stocking up on tin, tin caps while they're 40% off. Mr. Lifeguard has let me know tin caps have been popular. People replenishing their tin cap supplies. How long does halftime last? Like 20 minutes, right? Something like that. What are tin caps? Uh, they are uh, pieces of tin. They're flat. I'll show you one. Wow. Okay. They look like this. They're just flat pieces of metal, but they are, um, they're magnetic. Okay, so they will attract a magnet. And so they're, they're great for stretching your magnets. And also, they, you can't see them under paper. So they're really great. They used to be what they used on roofs. Like you drive, you would drive a nail through this into a shingle, and this would hold the shingle down so the shingle wouldn't blow away in the breeze or whatever. But I guess the standard has changed to plastic, so they don't sell these anymore. So Mr. Lifeguard and I bought tons of them like pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds of them uh, when they stopped being the construction being used in construction in the United States or and and um, so now we sell them because you can't get them anymore all right last one 
Fran bought 20 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> I know Sandra bought a lot too. Sandra was the one who told us that they were like going out of business or whatever. So she's the one who alerted us. So I was able to stock up. There's still 47 seconds left. Ugh, football is so crazy. <laughs> I time. The football is like time works differently in football than anywhere else except for a Blake Crouch novel. Okay, well, I've done all the envelopes, so I guess I'll just, um, I don't know, I guess I'll flip over to the camera and we'll just chit chat until halftime. And then when we come back from halftime, we'll do another round of giveaways. And, um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I, it's, it's fine. It's fine. I don't, I don't, look how my hair fell down. See, like it's all collapsed. <laughs> it's because it's so hot up here. There we go. Here, I'll push it back. Push it back up. <laughs> oh, well. It's a little bit better. Tiny abandoned her post. She did. She did. She finally left. <laughs> Gretchen's mad because now she has to find something to cook for dinner. Are, is is halftime not enough of an excuse to get out of it? Can you order a sandwich from Domino's? Can you get Domino's on the Super Bowl night? They probably, like, it's, it's probably crazy. Intern Liz is, I don't know, Mr. Lifeguard might know. My craft room is on a different floor from everything else in the house. So the second story of our house is only my craft room. And then, so I never know what anyone is doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it would take two hours to get any takeout right now. I know, it would be so crazy. It would, I can't imagine what takeout is like on tonight that's got to be wild that's got to be wild melanie made meatballs this morning so she could have meatball sandwiches that's smart that's smart we had chicken chili mm. that's my rum runner face you can tell that i am loving it Maybe if it tasted more like juice, like I was expecting it to taste like juice, but it tastes like alcohol. And I kind of thought like the point of having drinks like this is so they taste like juice and you don't know that you're consuming like four ounces of alcohol, right? It does need a stir stick. Maybe I'll just use my straw from my mojito. Maybe that'll help. that helped. I mean, the banana is less of a forward flavor now. So before the banana, well, I tasted the banana more than I do now. So this calmed the banana down for sure. Thirteen seconds left. This takes so long. I don't understand. 
I know it's on my lipstick grape. This is Electric Poppy by Charlotte Tilbury. My two favorite lipsticks. Don't hate me. They're worth the money, I swear. If, if you don't want to spend this much money on a lipstick, then don't. But they are worth it. Charlotte Tilbury's lipsticks are great. Last forever. Look fantastic. I love her mattes especially. But her colors are fab. But also Tom Ford, I wore Tom Ford last year and the, his lipsticks are great too. His matte lipsticks are great too. The big difference between Charlotte Tilbury and Tom Ford besides $20 is um, Charlotte Tilbury will leave a little bit of an imprint on a glass. Like, I don't know if you can see very, very, very slightly. You can see maybe that there's a little bit of an imprint and his don't, they don't leave any imprint at all really. So her, but Charlotte Tilbury is like $35 and this is like $55 and, and she is the, the creative director for Tom Ford Cosmetics. So she's the one who picks his colors anyways. So, but his formula is a little better. Oh my gosh, it's half time. Okay. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the, um, the like sh show starting soon. Oh, it's not half time. Wait, is it half time or not half time? We Tampa got a half time. They still have to do a point after. It will be. Oh no, Monica. Oh no, Monica. Monica, that's so funny. I, Mr. Lifeguard and I just organized our closet. Uh, just reorganized our closet and like no joke while we we're reorganizing the closet I found that jar of acid that my friend gave me from that whole like boiler peeling incident so it's so funny it's so funny so I was like oh my gosh these are the devil these are the devil but I found them in a box when we were reorganizing our closet. But for those of you who don't know, like years ago, um, like probably five years ago now, a friend of mine gave me a jar of Peter Thomas Roth, like acid face peel pads. And like, and it was this really nice gift box with this, and it was in a pretty package. It was beautiful. Um, and I tried it on my face and it like burnt off, like it burnt off a layer of my face. My face was red and painful. Like I was sunburned. It was crazy. Um, and it was like painful for like two weeks, but then after two weeks, it was, my skin was gorgeous. But like when I was reading the ingredients on state uh, on screen, like talking about this stuff, like one of the ingredients is like what they use to descale boilers or something. <laughs> like it was crazy. Um, so I never did use them more than the one time. I just like put them in a drawer and forgot about them. I felt kind of bad because I don't think they were cheap, but like, mm -mm. but I am a big believer in face acid, just not that particular face acid. So I, I think it was a Peter Thomas Roth that comes in an orange jar and it was just too much for my delicate face. But yeah, it was, it was crazy. My, my skin was really messed up. Okay, now it's halftime. I'm being told it's now halftime. So everyone go enjoy the halftime show. I'm going to switch over to the live opener, which is that coming soon with the music. So that there will be something staying. I'm not going to stop the broadcast. The broadcast is going to stay. Okay, so um, I'm going to go do that now. So I'll see you all when halftime is over. Bye now.